Hi there, Marfa here. I'm at home sick, and uh, I just uh, I was watching. I was sitting on the couch and watched a video by Rich Review Tech USA uh, on violence in video games. Violence in video games. Yeah, I do have something to say about that. Uh, I've actually written down something on my Facebook page, which I'm just gonna tell a prompt here I guess and hope hopefully uh, contribute to this crazy discussion that's been going on uh, you know uh, let me see if I can just scroll a bit okay here's the deal Obama he wants to invest uh, money into uh, research uh, that may show the effect of violent video games on kids or people well I, I'm afraid it's money down the drain because earlier studies on the subject really haven't shown a strong correlation and even if there was a correlation found uh, there was no way of telling it is a causal one only hypothesizing and and uh, the only th way to actually find a causal relationship is by doing a prote protective um, a pers protective <laughs> well uh, a perspective um, uh, comparative study where you have one cohort not being exposed to video games, found video games, and one cohort that is exposed to video games and a lot of other things, uh, getting rid of confounders and stuff, um, then you might maybe actually be able to uh, to to uh, to uh, to find some sort of correlation. But I think um, it's it's a stupid thing just to focus on violent video games because it's a multifactorial thing and by getting rid of just one you know one factor um, uh, you know it's just crazy uh, you know I mean violent people they may actually be uh, drawn to playing violent video games more than people who are not violent and uh, nonviolent people actually uh, may be drawn to violent video games more because you know in a violent video game you get to act out stuff that you would never do for real but you get to do in video games without without you know uh, suffer any consequences I mean I'm, I'm one of the latter category actually <coughs> sorry uh, so the studies actually have shown both of these uh, groups to actually exist but no causal relationship has been found as of yet. No good study, actually. So, um, what does uh, what does um, in, instill violence in people? Actually, I think is a lack of role models and people being thought right from wrong in a consistent way. Because these days, a lot of kids are growing up without those role models. Uh, you know, their parents are more busy fulfilling uh, their uh, own pursuit of happiness and uh, basically they leave the kids to fend for themselves or, you know, <laughs> maybe actually indeed sitting in front of a television with a Nintendo uh, or uh, an Xbox or a PlayStation. Uh, and then peer pressure and lack of consistent role models. Uh, that's, that's actually what, what you know, spirals this out of control and uh, not video games not video games uh, I mean video games violence in video games violent cartoons uh, violence in movies they have been around for decades and uh, well there's more uh, doing away with violence altogether doesn't teach people how to you know how to deal with it properly I mean um, it's just a very short-sighted, narrow-minded uh, point of view. I mean, if you don't know your enemy, you don't know how to deal with it. So, I mean, it, it, uh, uh, keeping away children from, from water, being afraid that they might drown, is crazy. You have to teach children how to, you know, be around water, teach them how to swim, and then they'll, say, then, then they will be safe. Otherwise, you can be 16 years old and you just drop in a, you know, <laughs> three feet of water and you drown, you know, it's, it's insane. Uh, back to what I was writing down. Uh, so violence in games actually may be a good way or violence in medium actually may be a good way to deal or deflect, uh, to deal with or deflect anger. 
and frustrations without the need to act it out on others. Uh, violence in media, like I told you, it's always been out there. You know, I mean, even respected series like Midsummer Murders, Murder She Wrote, uh, CSI, and even The Dukes of Hazard. Uh, uh, you name it. I mean, violence and killings, they're, they're in it all the time. But it doesn't mean that people watching these programs actually are being prepped to become, you know, violent members of society or serial killers or something. You know, it's... it's so, uh, basically, I think, I think we all will know uh, where the culprit uh, lies. And, and somehow policymakers seem to be I seem to want to focus on something that is uh, an easy target, a scapegoat, and uh, something that is easy to fix. And of course, I mean, uh, it's something that perhaps Obama, even Obama in his reign, will, you know, will want to uh, latch on to. Um, let me see. Uh, so, an easy scapegoat, and uh, the thing is that the means the availability of the means is also a thing. I mean, uh, what makes a person kill 20 plus people in a single go? You know, what does that? Well, uh, having the means to do so. And of course, a lack of common sense and empathy. People, I think people actually can be ta taught and can, uh, can learn how to use weapons appropriately uh, as a means of defense. I mean, uh, but that can also be done with a simple gun, you know, one bullet uh, or just a couple of bullets, I mean, um, instead of a semi-automatic weapon that just, you know, squirts out buttons, multiple lethal buttons per second, you know, I mean, you just squirt the button and the trigger and, and I mean, 10 people are dead, you know, it's just crazy. I mean, uh, a weapon like that has no place outside of the army, I think, but... Uh, so, simply banishing guns, simply banishing video games really doesn't cut it. I mean, that's just an oversimplified uh, simplified rea uh, yeah, view of the world. And I think you throw away a lot of money uh, just, you know, just, just doing that. Uh, people <laughs> being, uh, I mean, people being less egotistical and moving away from the uh, I'm the biggest banana, I'm the biggest monkey and I'm sitting on the biggest heap of bananas and I'm not gonna share it with any of you. Um, well, that kind of mentali menta mentality, uh, getting away from that actually may work better uh, because, uh, uh, how do you say that? Um, teaching kids that it is not about being the meanest monkey on the block that has the biggest heap of bananas. Uh, you know, I think, I think competitiveness has gone astray that way. I mean, it's, it, it's, it should also be about compassion, um, about sharing, about empathy, about being kind, kind to others. And somehow we've gotten in this rat race of self, being self-absorbed, uh, you know, being very materialistic, I mean, yeah, and, and just, you know, uh, yeah, being just self-absorbed, egotistical monkeys sitting on big heaps of bananas. <laughs> well, these are my two cents. I thought by putting it up uh, on YouTube as a video response to Rich Review Tech USA and uh, as a, yeah, uh, you know, as an additional thing um, on Facebook. I think I think more people should actually yeah, think about this. And uh, the world is 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 a much more difficult, much more intricate, much more uh, fantastic place than uh, a lot of people think. But trying to solve the world's problems by just you know getting rid of a single thing that may cause a problem or focusing on just a single thing is just, you know, it doesn't do it justice. It's just stupid. It really is. <laughs> okay, Mark signing off and I'll be back with another video and hopefully in a better condition soon. <laughs>